Let's work through an example where we prepare an adjusted trial balance. So we're told using the trial balance and the following adjustments, the following adjusting entries for Lincoln Company, we need to prepare an adjusted trial balance on December 31st, 2019. So we have the trial balance over on the left side and then our five adjustments, our five adjusting entries over on the right. So we can use that information to figure out what we would need to show on an adjusted trial balance. So we need to figure out, okay, what are these adjusted balances going to be? So let's go piece by piece in our adjusting entries. So first of all, interest expense. We didn't have any interest expense before, so we will show interest expense with a balance of $175. Interest payable. We didn't have any interest payable either. So its balance on the adjusted trial balance will just be 175. Supplies expense. Well, when we take a look at our trial balance, we don't see any supplies expense on there. So the supplies expense balance will just be 1800. Supplies. Well, supplies we had $3000 worth. And then we credited supplies for 1800 in our adjusting entry. So its balance is now 1,200. Now depreciation expense. We didn't have any depreciation expense in our trial balance. So its balance will be 100. And same with our accumulated depreciation on that equipment. Now insurance expense. We didn't have any insurance expense in our trial balance. So we'll just show the 100 for insurance expense on our adjusted trial balance. And then prepaid insurance. Well, prepaid insurance, we had $2,400 and we credited that account for 100 in our fourth adjusting entry. So it now only has $2,300 in that account. Now, unearned service revenue. Well, unearned service revenue, we had $50,000 worth. And then we debited that liability for 10,000 so we only have 40,000 now. And service revenue, we had 35,000 up in our trial balance. And we added on an additional 10,000. So we have 45,000 now in our service revenue. So these are all of the updated balances based off of our adjusting entries. So now we can take this information and mix it in with the information in our original trial balance to create an adjusted trial balance. So when we do that, this is what your adjusted trial balance should look like. Remember, just like when you're preparing a trial balance, you list out your assets, then your liabilities, then your capital, then your drawings, your revenue, and your expenses and your balances will be on the side of their normal balance. So we have this adjusted trial balance for Lincoln Company. And you'll notice these accounts and balances that are highlighted in red, these are the ones that changed, right? So there's some account balances that will be exactly the same as our original trial balance. That's because those accounts were not affected by the adjusting entries. So here's our adjusted trial balance, and now we can compare it to just the trial balance itself. Right, so we, we not only updated balances, but we also had to add in new accounts. Right, our original trial balance didn't have accumulated depreciation, interest payable, uh, supplies expense, interest expense, depreciation expense, or insurance expense, right? Those accounts we had to add in when we prepared our adjusted trial balance.